What's up guys, and yes, this is iOS 8.3. This is a turnum, the first week in our list. In this video, I'll be showing you top 10 Cydia tweaks that are compatible with iOS 8.3. Now, to kick this off, this is a turnum. It gives you an Apple Watch UI experience to your uh, device, and you can add a dock here. It's really nice, really fluid. You know, the only thing that really bothers me that you cannot find uh, the uh, app so fast, which is really bothering. But there is a search button. If you tap on the home button, you'll find it right away, and you can search for your application you need. All right, so if I search for settings, I get entered inside settings, and that's really nice. So download Aeternum and uh, enjoy. This is working with iOS 8.3. Alright, so the next tweak is called Barrel. Now, what Barrel allows you to do is it allows you to change the animation while scrolling between pages. You can change many animations here. If you go to the panel from Settings or the app, you can go ahead and choose Random, which is very nice, actually. Take a look here. Give some random animations, you know. It's very nice to use Parallel. Uh, you can download it, and it's working in iOS 8.3 perfectly. Next tweak is called Reach App. Now, what Reach App allows you is that it allows you to, by double tapping on the Touch ID button, it allows you to have a split screen multitasking uh, experience. So, let's say I want to run settings with any other app. So, as you can see right here, I can run both settings and YouTube together using this very nice tweak. So, yeah, it's very nice and uh, it works in iOS 8.3. The next tweak right here is called Polos. Polos allows you to change stuff inside your control center. So let's go in configuration and show you simple things that you can do. So you can edit the bottom shelf, which is the one right here, and you can edit the top shelf. So let's go to the top shelf, and let's see, I want six uh, options inside one page. So I can do that, and I can also add some other functions. So let me just go to toggles here, and I'm going to show you how I can add other fun functions. I can add other functions like respringing. I can add other functions like uh, uh, this app that I'm going to, this tweak that I'm going to show you uh, right now. And uh, I can add other functions for the flashlight and put it right here. Alright, so basically by clicking on done, I can go ahead and do all of that, and as you can see, the control center looks a little bit different. Here's the respring button, and here are the other buttons. Now, this is Polis, and you can change stuff with bottom shelf. Now, that gets me to the next tweak, which is sorry low battery. So, if somebody comes at you, and I know that this will happen, oh man, is this the new iPhone 6? Oh yeah, yeah, it's the iPhone 6. Oh, can I see it, please? Well, sorry, bro. It's low battery. One percent. I changed my device. I faked my device percentage with just a toggle in control center. Of course, you can make this more accessible. But as you can see, my reel is 27. If I enable it again, it's one percent. And bam! He cannot touch your phone. And your phone is protected against these kind of people. Now, of course, you can, as I said, you can make it more accessible and you could do and be creative with it. Of course, this is be better working with Polis, so you'll need Polis for this. So these are Polis and Sorry Low Battery. Alright, so the next tweak is called Virtual Home 8 and this allows you to simply change your Touch ID sensor to a home button so you can no longer touch your home button you can now use touch id as your home button so let's see i want to go uh let's say i want to exit out of this app i simply must tap or, or, or press the home button now i'm just going to touch it using virtual home 8 and there you go i want to reach multitasking switcher double touch and if i reach reachability i just short hold you know, you can change that from settings, and you can also enable vibration on touch, so you can feel like a feedback, just like you're pressing the home button. You can change it from virtual home uh, settings, uh, you can change all of this, and you can uh, disable the vibrating. So yeah, this is virtual home 8. Alright guys, so the next week is called mini player. Now mini player, as you can see right here, there's a little corner here. This allows you to access your music really fast, just by tapping right here. And you can just play any song you want, move it around, put it right here, and then you want to change the song, just put it right here. And also have a blank theme, so there you go. Now the next week's called Harbor. Now the next week's called Harbor, and as you can see, it gives the dock a 
OS X style, and it's very nice. You can add a lot of uh, stuff right here. So let's go ahead and add some stuff. This looks so nice. All right, and just by putting finger on one, you can open it. So yeah, this hardware and it's working on iOS 8.3. The next tweak is Uxu 3, and yes, it works on iOS 8.3. Take a look at that. It works. It allows you to have a nice uh, multitasking switch uh, switcher uh, experience. It has three features. This one is called the Hot Corners. Just by swiping from the left corner, you can just access any app that you have in the multitasking switcher. And of course, if you access the multitasking switcher itself, you've got Control Center merged in. Looks pretty nice, as you can see, like this. And uh, yeah, uh, there's also the other feature, which is the Quick Switcher. Which allows you to go ha back to the home, uh, to a home screen, just by sliding over from the right corner. So this is OXO three. All right. So for the last and the final tweak, it's called swipe selection. Now, what swipe selection does? It allows you to uh, uh, control the cursor without the need of just the stupid uh, magnifying glass. You can just swipe through the keyboard, and you can change the place. And this was stolen directly on iOS nine. And as you can see, if you hold the shift key and you go like this, you can select. So this was stolen in iOS 9. Bad Apple. Bad Apple. Alright, thanks guys for watching. If you did like this list and it was helpful, give it a big thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this. I'll be doing this a lot these days because I know most of you are just happy that the jailbreak is back. So, if you did like this, give it a big thumbs up. As I said, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.